There's a reason biostatistics is often called the backbone of public health research. It's not just about analyzing numbers, it's about solving real-world health problems, ethically and effectively. From cancer to cardiovascular disease to emerging infections, biostatisticians help tackle questions that matter. Which treatments actually work? What factors increase disease risk? How do we interpret conflicting results? Biostatistics gives us the tools to collect, summarize, analyze, and, most importantly, interpret data. It's how we move from observation to evidence-based decisions. One of its superpowers? Making inferences about large populations from just a small, well-designed sample. Because in public health, we can't study everyone. But with the right methods, we don't need to. And it's not just about the math, it's about the design. Biostatisticians help craft ethical, efficient studies, making sure we ask the right questions and recruit just the right number of participants. Too few? We might miss the truth. Too many? We risk wasting resources, or worse, placing participants at unnecessary risk. And in today's era of big data and complex models, their role is even more critical. With massive datasets from genomics, environmental exposures, and real-time health tracking, we need experts who can separate signal from noise and avoid false positives that can mislead science and policy. Biostatistics also helps communicate findings clearly. It's not enough to crunch numbers, we need visuals and stories that make results understandable and actionable. And that's part of the job. Plus, there are still gaps in our knowledge. New studies are needed to fill them, especially in underserved populations, in replicating results, and in building better measures of health outcomes. Bottom line? Without biostatistics, public health would be guessing. With it, we can ask smarter questions, find clearer answers, and build a healthier, more equitable future.